I didn't create the system. That's the system. You gonna watch him work today? We're getting ready to uh, put another layer of uh, two layers of Seartex triaxle fiberglass on the hull. Now let me just kind of give you a rough idea. Here is the a sample of what the hull will actually look like when it's finished. We have a layer of mat, which is uh, on the surface, and we have two layers of Seartex triaxle fiberglass. That basically it has 60% of the strength going long ways and it has 20% going at a 45 degrees and another 20% at a 45 degrees. This is the triaxle Ralph's always talking about? Yes. Looks like it's actually stitched together. Oh yes, so it's showing Multi needle sewing machine. And this is, I guess, a, a lot stronger. It's, uh, yeah, it's a high tech product. It, it, it's, this is actually what the hull is made of. Incredibly strong on the outside. Uh, Go. One inch of girt uh, foam. And th this is a uh, it's core material. It's an incredibly good product here, giving an incredible m amount of rigidity and overall strength to the hull. The floor is going to actually, this material here, um, it's, a, it's a layer of mat, a layer of Kevlar, and Kevlar is a material they make bulletproof vests out of, and it's six layers of um, Seartex 24 ounce triaxle. Very strong, and it's supported by ribs uh, and stringers. Stringers will be uh, reinforcements going long ways and ribs reinforcements going sideways. So this is what the floor is made of. Very strong, very proven. Been, they've used it. The same concepts have been used for a very long time. So that's what we're doing. Now here we've got our, 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 our mat. It's been on, put on there. Uh, it's called the skin coat, a mat. And then you've got two layers of triaxle. The core. Now we're getting ready to put two more layers of triaxle on the outside. Once we're done with the two layers of triaxle here and the two layers of triaxle here, then we'll add three more layers to the floor. Sandwich it in, making it a very strong overlapping sandwich. So you have your your three layers on the bottom, you've got your two layers on the side. You have your core, two more layers on the side, and then we're gonna come back and put three more layers on the floor with a nice overlapping sandwich, making it very strong and very rigid. Are the tanks structurally in? Yes, each of these uh, hulls are gonna have five tanks, and the tanks actually become part of the rib system, built right into them. So it's just, it, it, it's, they're using some synergy, basically, of the, the structural strength of the tank and the structural tank of the hull, and, we, and, and they become interlocking and actually become part of the rib system. The floor is ever ruptured, okay? You also have another inch and a half to two inches, depending upon where it's at, before it hits the structural strength of the tank. So it's actually separate, okay? So if you, if you rupture, the, if you, for any reason whatsoever, you're going to damage the hull itself. It doesn't damage the tank at the same time. The tanks are actually uh, laminated into the boat? Yes, they're laminated into the hull. Okay, thank you.